In this video, we'll learn to draw and interpret scatter diagrams and recognize positive and negative correlation. So I've started the process of drawing two scatter diagrams. In the first one, I'm trying to show the correlation or relationship between weather temperatures and ice cream sales. So I've got some data and based on that, I'll plot those points. So when the temperature is about two degrees Celsius, then ice cream sales are quite low. And then as the temperatures set to increase, so do the ice cream sales a bit. So I'm going to show you that. So when the temperature is about day, then perhaps 40 ice creams are sold. When the temperatures go up, so do the ice cream sales. So maybe at 14 degrees, 15 ice creams are sold in a shop. So 24 degrees, maybe 60, 27 degrees, we've got maybe 90, 30 degrees, 100. So what you can see is that when temperatures increase, so do the ice cream sales. So as we said, when temperatures were about 2 degrees Celsius, that was matched with ice cream sales of under 10, so very few sales. And then when the temperatures increased, let's say went to about 16 or 17 degrees, then ice cream sales went up to about 55. And when the weather temperature was about 30 degrees, we had 100 ice cream sales. So that shows a positive correlation, a positive connection, a positive relationship between weather temperature and ice cream sales. Now, on the other hand, I've got here a scatter diagram which I've started but haven't finished. And this is about showing the connection between weather temperature and tea sales, so hot tea, hot drinks. So when temperatures are low, we have very high tea sales because that's quite common. The colder it is, the more likely people are to buy hot drinks. And then as the temperatures increase, we have the tea sales dropping because naturally people are inclined to buy cold drinks or ice cream. So as you can see, when temperatures were cold, were low, tea sales were high. As the temperatures actually increased, T cells dropped. So increase in weather temperatures, drop in sales. The two opposite words. Here we had increase in temperatures, increase in sales. So both of them go in the same direction. So that is a positive relationship, positive correlation. Whereas here we've got an increase and a decrease so that means this is a negative correlation between weather temperature and tea sales. I'll show through another example for you as well. So we've got very similar to the first one. We've got a positive correlation here. So one increases, the other increases as well. So that is a positive correlation. And we've got a negative correlation, just like this one here. When one increases, the other decreases. And what this is here is no correlation. So you can't really see kind of a line either going upwards or downwards. But we've got some scattered points, scattered dots around the graph. So that shows that there is no clear correlation between the two variables. So this actually shows two things that are not really related to each other. For example, the number of hours you spend swimming with your results in a maths exam. Nothing 
related. Whereas here, it could be another example such as the number of hours you spend revising with your results in a math exam and a negative correlation could be between you spending time um, on PlayStation, playing games online perhaps, and your math exam results.